Hey everybody, I'm back with another bus video. This is a little different. This is a 2017 Freightliner M2 Champion bus. Uh, so it's on the like Freightliner M2 chassis, basically the same as like the C2s, um, but this is like the truck version that you would use for business vehicles. Um, you can see I even have a door handle over here on the side to actually get into the actual truck itself. This one has been outfitted with uh, air conditioners and it's probably more of like a shuttle bus, limousine type bus. Um, it's currently on a consignment here at the dealership. Ignore all the sound of the snow. We've been having a lot of snow around here. Um, there you can see the, I would imagine, emergency exit. There's even a stair there. Um, just everything kind of set up, backup camera. Um, we'll do a little tour on this one here. It's a uh, I believe a Defender series um, with the uh, M2 Champions. Uh, this is your very big door to get inside. Um, let's go ahead, let's see what kind of engines in this one. It does have some very small tires there, as you can see. Uh, let's see what we got inside of here. Looks like we have a Cummins engine inside. All right. There's your Cummins engine. Pretty much the same as like what the Freightliner C2s are. This is just the M2 Business Class Series. Uh, and then the Champion version. Uh, you have your like oil dipstick, your power steering fluid here. There's your fuel filter. Um, all sorts of fun stuff here. Let's check out the other side. This is the other side of your Cummins engine. Big air filter, your coolant tank there. Washer fluid's all the way down there. That's a bit interesting compared to how it is on the buses, but it seems like it's more compact in here. Uh, very low to the ground, not a lot of clearance there. So this is saying that um, probably, I personally don't think uh, is as capable as the bus. Let's see if this, I saw it had shocks. But let's see, it just goes right back down. Beautiful Freightliner emblem right there. All right, I'm so used to coming over to the driver's side to seal up the hood first to go in through the passenger door, but uh, we're not going to do that today because uh, I guess if we had a key, we could get in there. Can't get in this here. Uh, like I said, it is consignment. All right, so you have a nice step there and then our door, this is weird, right? There's a look inside. Kind of climb up here, tap off my shoes a bit. Don't want to drag dirt in here. Look at this fun fabric for the driver. And then your typical Freightliner gauge is there. Bunch of switches in the middle we'll go over. Let's climb up in. All right, and look on the back. Look at that. All right, so this would be like a nice little shuttle or you could use it as like Maybe like a wine bus. Um, these armrests go up and down, so that's pretty nice. Looks like we have some TVs. We have air conditioning. Lots of seating in here. There's your TVs everywhere. That's kind of cool. Big one up front. Wow. Get the big screens. <laughs> All right, I like the wood trim that we have down here. Looks like we have a door switch, our interior lights, auxiliary lights, and rear heats. There's our air conditioning, even has dash AC for the driver. That's pretty nice. All sorts of cool stuff here. And that looks like a little intercom, your ashtray. We don't use those. <laughs> uh, that would be the backup camera up top there. Look at this top bulkhead here. Got your air conditioning up front. Looks like all your fuse boxes in there. That's pretty intricate right there. Everything's kind of labeled, pretty nice. Looks like it's done a little bit better than the C2 buses. Uh, let's go ahead and let's sit down here on the seat. Looks like it has 47,918 miles. There's a shifter you don't typically see a park on it. It's kind of cool. You got your air brake. Got a nice system there. That's where the DVDs apparently go in for the actual bus. All right, we have a key. We don't put it over here like you would in a school bus. 
It's over here like the typical truck would be. You can turn that. See what our gauges do. We do have the intake heater. It is only like 30 degrees out. Can't start till that thing goes off. There we go. Let's see if it starts up. Hot first light. And now I can close my door on my driver's side. <laughs> Not used to having to do that. We do have a manual rolling window. Those are fun. Oh look, our camera's on in the back there. You can see everything going on in the back. Let's see if we can't. Oh, it already has enough air to take care of that. It only has one air tank on here, it looks like. Um, you have your typical uh, turn signals, windshield wipers here, high beams, so on. Um, I'd like that to be in park. I don't know why it wouldn't have been put in park. Uh, let's see. Oh, it even has a suspension dump so you can lower down the bus. That's kind of cool, huh? We'll have to take a look at that. Uh, regen switches over here, your parking brake, um, let's see, interior lights, yep, that turns those on up top there, nice and bright LEDs, uh, let's see, auxiliary light, that is the lights that each seat has there, it looks like, can turn those on, and then a rear heater option on there too, um, let's see, yeah, it looks pretty nice, um, let's do a little has a nice little purr to it so it is not air brake as you can see it doesn't say air brake on the pedal and pushing on it that is definitely a hydraulic brake so it looks like the only air function is for the parking brake and uh the suspension obviously all right so let's uh let's open up the door here i'll use the switch it is an electronic door as well and the lights come on inside. All right, let's put the four ways on, and then let's uh, let's step outside and just take a look around. Let's see if there's anything else that's fun. Let's see. If I push this, that doesn't do anything. I thought we'd uh, um, lower the suspension in the back or something maybe, but let's take a look outside. This is that Cummins engine fur sounds pretty good. Nice and quiet. Let's just take a look along the side here. Looks like we have our diesel fuel tank right here. Got a nice little side turn signal right there. Very nice. Uh, let's see here. Yep, we do have the air suspension. You can see the airbags back there. Pretty nice. So then my guess, so there was a whole row of seats in the back, so this would be, uh, I'm assuming, well, we can't even get in there, but I'm assuming that that is just like a storage place back there. Um, and then let me step back so you can see this more. So there's, with your tail lights and your four ways on, you even have a high mount stoplight up there. Lots of clearance lights on it, makes it nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Got the air conditioners over here. And then it does use DEF right there. You're definitely got a little plug in spot there for your pop feeder. That's pretty nice. Let's go back inside. Tap off our shoes. Let's not take all the snow inside here. Come up the stairs. Yeah, it's nice. Let's close the door. Nice, quiet, smooth door. Yeah, it's very quiet inside too. All the way back here, you can't really hear much of what's going on. Sit down in the seat. It's nice and quiet. Looks like you got... Uh, no, that's just the lights that were up there. That was air vents, but it's not. It's just the lights. This is nice. Nice little bus here. Uh, let's see. Put our seatbelt on. Let's move ourselves closer here. Do I have an air seat? Hmm. 
switches than what the C2 has. So we, we put it in the drive, release the parking brake. Oh yeah, it drives real nice. Even the hydraulic brakes are nice. Put it in the back of and reverse here. Got our backup camera up there with our trajectory lines. Very nice. Put it in park. And yeah, very nice. Alright. We'll go ahead and we'll shut her down. The switches are in a little bit different order here. Like you have your dash increasing lights here for the dash lights, your uh, headlights and marking lights, and then your cruise controls up top, which makes it kind of nice. Um yeah. Pretty nice vehicle. Oh yeah, and you even have a engine brake, which is nice as well. Alright. We'll go ahead and shut it down. Oh we got a big visor up here, can't forget that. It's a little bit nicer <laughs> than the uh ones in the buses. Little storage bins up here too if you need any. Um yeah, it's nice. Alright, we can shut it down. Alright. Out through our side door here. Well, let's just see if uh, the key happens to open up the rear door. I can't believe I'm going out the driver's side. <laughs> I'm not used to that with being in the school buses. Uh, let's just see what we got here. There's a couple keys on here. We will, pardon my hand, just see if one of these might work. On that rear door, it doesn't look like that one. Hmm. No, I don't think we're having any luck with that with that door. So it looks like we're not getting in that back area there. So that's fine. All right, Let me go back up front here. Cross all the ice. <laughs> Ooh, we are certified clean idle Cummins. That's a good thing. All right, and there you have it. A 2017 Freightliner M2 Champion Bus Defender Series. Uh, like a limousine bus. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. It's something a little different. Uh, I like to switch it up every now and then. I hope you have a great day. Please remember to like, comment, and uh, subscribe for more. Have a great day.